you guys, we're on the road. I'm going to the uh, <clears throat> Muskegon Wastewater Treatment Plant today. <clears throat> um, a lot of lagoons there. Last time I was there, there were uh, a couple weeks ago, there were thousands of ducks. And um, so it's a great spot, especially in spring as well as winter. That's a great spot almost any time for a waterfowl. Uh, there's supposed to be a Ross's goose there, or a pair of Ross's geese, which I think I saw a month or two ago. I thought they were snow geese, um, and I have some pictures, but I've seen multiple reports. There's no snow geese that people have been reporting, and there's been multiple reports of uh, Ross's geese, this one pair. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go try to find it. Uh, is this guy coming over? Alright, yeah, so, driving the X today, using autopilot uh, to take me there safely, uh, cruising along. I also need to get some fencing on the way back, so that's why I have the big vehicle instead of my Model 3. Um, it's also nice to be in a big vehicle, or a vehicle where you can sit kind of more upright. <clears throat> Uh, especially if you're getting in and, the in and out of the vehicle, at least for me. So the three is a sedan, so the way I sit, it's just a little more difficult to get in and out and get the tripod in and out than something like this. So um, I'm ho hopefully I'll be getting the Rivian R1T electric pickup this year, the launch edition. Hopefully that works out, and then uh, that'll be really fun to take that on outings. So... Well, this is around where I saw it a while ago. Turns out, actually, uh, I don't know that it's actually here. Um, I was looking at my email, and I might have been looking at some previous alerts a couple weeks ago. So, this might be nothing but a wild goose chase. Yeah, here's the cornfield. There's often geese out here in the winter. Oh well, let's go to the lagoons and see what we can find. A little windy out. Not too many participants out here. Some ruddy ducks. I think that's a female bufflehead there. Got some tree sparrows out there. Or tree swallows, I mean, tree swallows. A lot of swallows out here. Um, mostly tree tree swallows and barn swallows. I think I also saw a bank swallow. Bunch of ruddy ducks out there. Something flying up into the air over there. And got some baby geese. I'm gonna try to look for some waders and uh, shorebirds too. There's supposed to be a, a dowager around here somewhere, but we'll see if I find it. All right, I'm gonna use this thing for video right now. This is one of the wider lagoons. We got some blue winged teal. Um, some shovelers. Looks like there's a scop there. There's a buffalo head. I think it just went under. What else do we have here? More shovels. I'm not sure how to focus this thing here. Let's see. Yeah, got a bunch of bunch of folks back there, and then um, there's uh, some sort of shorebird. I gotta drive a little closer, but I spooked it. It should be along there somewhere. It might be a like yellow legs. So 
So I was able to find it uh, down there. Well, not the Dowager. The, I think it's a. It's probably a lesser yellow leg. I'll have to take a look at the video and pictures that I got. Um, yeah. So I think I'll cruise around a little bit more and um, then maybe uh, head back pretty soon. Got a bunch of dust in the vehicle. I had the windows up for a while when I was going through a dusty area, but I think then when I was looking at some ducks um, in another part, there was some dust that got in, so it's all over the place. I even got it down here. Gonna have to... Um, yeah, luckily I, did, I don't think I got any on the lens, thankfully, because it's probably because I have this hood on. Anyway, got to clean up later. So there's a grebe right here, somewhere around here, that just dove under the water, so I'm going to see where he comes back up. Also, you can see in the distance where the dust is kicked up. That's out by the landfill. Oh, there he is. Okay, I'm going to get a... Could I get a picture of that guy? So it's so windy out, we're getting about one foot of chop here out on this water treatment lagoon. Um, there was some dust cloud. It was starting to blow in some more dust, so I closed the windows. One advantage of uh, the Tesla Model S and X is that we have uh, bioweapon defense mode. What that does when you turn it on is it turns the fans really high to create sort of a positive pressure inside the cabin, and then it recirculates the air through not only its HEPA filter, but also its um, carbon neutralization. So it gets rid of uh, odors, it gets rid of um, toxins, um, yeah, bacteria. I, I'm not exactly sure if it can filter viruses. Those might be a little too small, even for HEPA filters. Um, but yeah, so that's really, it's really nice. Um, there's some quite a bit of dust up ahead so um, I don't think I need it right now actually but I'm gonna turn it on when I get up there yeah so yeah there's not as many ducks out right now um, at least I don't know maybe they've gone farther south or whatever uh, there was one time this over this winter where there were um, I counted and estimated about over 3,000 uh, shovelers, uh, 1,500, I think it's Canada goose, Canada geese. Um, there's always like a thousand or two seagulls out here because of the water as well as the landfill. Um, hundreds of uh, buffalo heads, and yeah, buffalo heads, and yeah, so. This is a really good spot to come, especially that was, I think those, well, the shovelers and the geese, that was in the dead of winter. I think that was like February and stuff. A lot of this was frozen off. And then in March, there was just a huge glut of all kinds of different ducks and stuff. So that was fun. Um, gadwalls and teal and ruddy ducks and shovelers, uh, ringbills, um, yeah, golden eye. <clears throat> so, really good spot. I'm going to enter the dust cloud and then uh, head back home. <laughs> 